Yo, what is up guys? Brandon here from Red Black Productions, and today I'm going to teach you how to factory reset your MacBook Pro, making it completely clean and fresh out the box. Okay, so right now I'm rocking the late 2011 MacBook Pro, running the newest version of OS X Yosemite. This does work with old MacBooks, regardless of Pro, Air, or just plain MacBook, so make sure to keep a backup of everything on your computer, because this will completely erase everything. Alright, so to get started, let's make sure we quit everything and shut down our computer. Once the MacBook is completely shut down, we can go and boot it up by holding the power button as well as the command and R key at the same time. Once you hear that boot up sound, you can let go of the power button but still remain holding onto the command and R key. Okay, so this is going to take a while, so please be patient with it as it loads to the recovery mode. Okay, so once your computer is in the recovery mode, you can let go of the command and R keys and you should see this OSX Utilities window page. Now we're going to go ahead and select Disk Utility and press Continue. Now we can go and select our hard drive by clicking on Macintosh HD on the left hand side and click on Erase and then erase one more time. Now erasing everything on our hard drive will take a while, so please be patient again. So once it's done erasing, we can go ahead and exit the disk utility and go back to the recovery mode. Now we can go and reinstall OS X Yosemite by clicking on reinstall OS X and press continue. So we go and hit continue, continue again, agree, and continue. Now we go and select our Macintosh HD and then press install. So before it can install OS X Yosemite onto the hard drive, we first need to go and sign into our Apple ID. So once we're signed in with our Apple ID, OS X Yosemite will begin downloading onto our Macintosh hard drive. This process will take a while depending on your internet connection speeds. So once you have finished downloading OS X Yosemite onto the hard drive, your computer should reset itself where it should begin to install OS X Yosemite. So installing OS X Yosemite on the hard drive itself should only take a couple minutes. So once our operating system OS X Yosemite is finally installed, it should do one final restart. Restarting of your computer should also take a while, so please be patient again as this is quite a long process as well. So once our MacBook is finished restarting, we should have a completely new, fresh and clean MacBook Pro. So just like the day we bought it, we can go and set it up and personalize it by selecting the country, keyboard, as well as our network. So since this is a clean reset of our MacBook Pro, we're going to go ahead and select don't transfer any information right now and hit continue. Now for the final steps of setting up, we can go and set up our iCloud information, go and hit that agree for the terms and condition, and personalize our computer by adding our name to our account settings. Alright, now that we've finished setting everything up for our MacBook Pro, our computer should be ready for us to use and completely clean and fresh out of the box. And there we go, we just successfully factory reset our MacBook Pro, making it completely clean like a new computer. So if you liked this video and found it helpful, make sure to give this video a nice thumbs up, leave a comment below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters!